Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be discussing about the differences between Triple E, EC, and EI. Most of us as students are confused between the three subjects because they have the E common and they almost sound similar. But how are they different? I'll tell you in this video. So basically, Triple E is electrical and electronics engineering or electronics and electrical engineering. ECE is electronics and communication engineering and EIE or E and I is electronics and instrumentation engineering. So I'll talk as a perspective of VIT. VIT provides these three subjects in two different schools. So they are basically divided into two different schools. The first school is called SENSE or School of Electronics Engineering where we have ECE or Electronics and Communication Engineering and we have another school called SELECT which is um, School of Electrical Engineering where we have Triple E and EIE. So talking about the core courses in ECE first then I'll move on to Triple E and EIE. ECE as you can see from the name is electronics as well as communication. So you'll be learning parts of electronics plus parts of communication. And it basically contains electronics, digital circuits, communication, communication protocols, and, uh, and uh, antenna, analog transmission, because they are all communication related subjects. But when we come to Tripoli, Tripoli is a core course of electrical engineering where you study more on drivers, electro, electromagnetism, power electronics, control system, power engineering, and uh, machines, um, various type of electrical circuit analysis. Now, EIE is again a electrical engineering course, but basically a specialized course because it has instrumentation in it. And the only uh, thing extra you'll be studying here is more about instruments, the various sensors that are used here, maybe process automation, process control, how various instruments work, and uh, a bit of robotics. And E&I e or EIE also has a division of biomedical instrumentation where it focuses more on healthcare instruments. So this is the basic difference between EC, EIE and Tripoli. Now talking about the year wise comparison. So in the description box below, I'll be leaving the links of the syllabus of the three uh, subjects um, that I'm discussing right now so that you, you guys can go through ha and have an overall view on it. So in basically the first year um, or the first semester when you enter college, you have physics, chemistry and mathematics. And you'll have basically the bo both, you'll have the same syllabus. You will have basic electronics, basic elect uh, electric circuits and basic electronic devices. So a lot of people usually shift uh, branches in their second sem before they move on to the second sem from say EC to EEE or EEE to EIE or EI to EC. So they love shifting uh, um, branches between um, these three branches. And basically uh, talking about the second year and third year where you'll have uh, a bit of syllabus change where triple E syllabus you'll have electromagnetism principles, electric machines, motors, drivers, generators and other electronic electrical energy, gear switching, power systems, the power grid. But in EC you'll have more towards the electronics division, digital circuits, embedded systems, VLSI and other communication and communication protocols. E, e and I in the third year, you will start having um, on few electrical subjects like VLSI automation, but including instrumentation subjects also like robotics, process control, automation and etc. And coming to the fourth year or the final year when you're at your final year, all the three subjects, you will have something called an electives. So until the third year, most people will try completing their core subjects, which is basically the main subjects that the course offers. And in the electives is basically you can take subjects from any other domain. Say for example, me being an EI student, I can take courses from EC or even computer science. So if I want to do a data structure and algorithm course from computer science, I can take because it's an elective and um, I can do that in my fourth year. 
usually people finish their core by their fifth sem and from the sixth sem onwards they start taking electives so that they make a multidiscipline um subject skill uh, in their resume so they have skills of maybe management electrical and a bit of computer science or or oh, electrical and management so etc now talking about the job perspective uh, when you guy uh, is will sit for placement usually ec has the highest job placement followed by triple e and then ei but ec and triple e is more towards uh, the core companies like bel bhel robert bosch you have intel and uh, because they have a mix of hardware and software which is called embedded systems and more focused on ec uh, branch and there are also companies like texas instruments qualcom and um these also take in electrical and uh, electronics engineer both from triple uh, e as well as ec and EI there are again a few companies there are few PSUs like um um BL BHL which um, hire instrumentation engineers there's isro to hiring instrumentation engineers um if i tell you about the recent uh, uh, statistic of BIT's placement there are few of my seniors who got into indian oil from uh, EI and because it deals more with the instruments now coming to the question why i chose ei in vit the main reason was i had more in- interest towards robotics and automation and ei was the best um, out of these three because ec is more towards the communication side and triple e is more towards the core electrical side but ei is more focused towards sensors and robotics and automation also if i give you a reality um, example that you can understand uh i you guys might know that uh during the olden times they we used to basically use a hand pump to um take out water from the ground and then put it into a bucket but right now as you see that um, we have an electronic pump basically that pumps water up from uh, down uh, up from the ground and then circulates it to the remaining houses of a apartment so that is basically an instrument so a uh, instrumentation engineer basically tries to reduce the workload um, of a human and try building up new innovations new instruments to complete the task same thing with robotics so if you look at a warehouse um, say an amazon warehouse that um, may maybe at first there was manual labor where you have to carry stuff uh, ca- carry things go to the exact location of the package take it manually and then put it back or ship it but right now um, instrumentation engineers they basically build these robots warehouse bots that directly you can feed in data and you can go collect the parcel from the exact location specified and then uh, ship it directly another example if i give you like maybe baking cakes or um, the baking pizza or um so or a baking any food item basically usually it is um, manually um, sa- um before in in the olden days in food technology they used to basically manually figure out the amount of say wheat you would need to put in or the amount of milk you need to put in into a food item or say if you're making ice cream the amount of whipping cream you need and um, you have to wait manually so there's a lot of manual labor which causes um, human errors so an instrumentation engineer basically makes a machine to create ice cream or to uh, get the amount of exact amount of whipping cream weight so that there are no uh, cause of errors and each um, ice cream that is produced at the end as the end product are basically similar so yeah that's all an instrumentation engineer does also under instrumentation there is biomedical instrumentation which focuses more on the healthcare domain so if a person is willing to work in building healthcare instruments or like ventilators if i give you an example as the current pandemic there was a um 
huge need of ventilators so a lot of instrumentation engineers were required to design and basically build the ventilators so that it can be used in various hospitals so biomedical instrumentation is another uh, domain under ei which uh, basically is growing and increasing rapidly so yes because um, i had keen interest in sensors and robotics i chose ei and uh, yeah but talking about the job placement is not that high or that low in india so it's like a mid range but ec like if you compare with ec triple e and ei ec lies always on the top followed by triple e ei but right now ei is trying to catch up uh, in the upcoming years also most people go abroad to masters and then uh, get a good job so that time basically um, it's all the same because most of uh, my seniors who have done uh, ei and are doing masters right now are doing in the domain of electrical and computer science engineering so they are clubbing both electrical uh, subjects as well as computer subjects to make a multidiscipline uh, domain in their resume and have a knowledge of both so that they can work in the industry as both in the hardware or the um software sector and yeah that's all for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you uh, did enjoy please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel um yeah see you guys in the next video bye